Guys, looks like they're going to demo, have to demo the building. Um, All the search and rescue efforts have been temporarily stopped because of concerns about that standing part of the structure. Local 10's Listen, Lena Milburn joins us live now with the very latest. Lena. You know, it's uh, they were just starting, really. Remember yesterday, Let me go forward a little bit. started to shift. The building started to shift. Just Listen. last night? Wait a minute. They exposed the column. Oh, there's another column, guys. I don't know what number that is. But it's exposed, and puncture's right through. Uh, as we're actively producing our, our search and rescue efforts. Oh, that was right by the uh, one of the doorways. That's that uh, uh that, that, that 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 knee wall, and the garage down there, perhaps. But okay, Tonight, here we go. Uh, as we're actively <laughs> producing our, our search and rescue efforts, uh, our monitors went off. On the south side of what remains of Champlain Tower South, the sensors detected a slight sh shift in the concrete slabs and above up to a foot of movement in a large hanging column that, if it fell, threatened support columns in the underground garage. And that threatened the safety of the teams of search and rescue crews. A temporary stop in operations occurred at 0211 due to additional concerns for building stability. The teams came down, the machines came down. No chances taken here with the safety of search and rescue crews. We've already informed the families this morning who are waiting and waiting. And our engineers are continuing to monitor the structure as we've paused operations uh, to evaluate the situation and all possible options and next steps. So that team of engineers has been meeting throughout the day, local engineers, state engineers too. Uh, so that's ongoing. I will say we just saw those golden retrievers, the, the search and rescue canine squad. Literally while we were standing here, they all went into the site. Whether that's a sign that they... Listen, you can use a, a big uh, excavator to pull that material out at this point if you want to get parts of the bodies, the remains before you demo the building. Since the, the, the main building's been cleared, the, the remains are in the pile, right? So, um, so they can just demo the, uh, they can put, get an excavator to reach there without um, that much, going from the uh, one side, the, the uh, let's see, southeast side coming inwards. Uh, they, they got excavators can reach that reach there and pull, all, pull that debris. And yeah, you might trash your excavator if the building collapses, but you've got seen the excavators, uh, the arms get hit many times. The person would see it moving and move their excavator, hopefully with a monitor, somebody watching. Um, Fox DC, right? <laughs> a, a building collapses. It looks like under construction. I'm just looking at it for the first time myself. You see no materials there. Let's look in addition. What does it say? Firefighter emergency respond to a notice after a building collapse, trapping one person. This is like all new construction. Let's see. Yeah, there's a material there. So I don't know, a building under construction collapsed is what they should say. And this is probably because they didn't put shear walls up before they put the roof up. I've seen this numerous times. I don't know this to be true. But I've seen it numerous times where I try to tell contractors, hey, please don't put your roof on yet. Please don't do that. Put your shear walls up. Put your walls up. Tie, you know, get that walls nice and stable before you get to get to the roof deck. Um, this looks like it came from up there, which is kind of weird um, because I don't... Tying into existing. Oh, time for me to go. I got dinner coming. Ready? Yeah. It's uh, two by six materials, which is nice. Thanks. Which is not not nice. Uh, nice would have been nice insulated walls. You know, that's a lot of money there now. You know, wood these days. Um, that's the size of that. But look. Time to bring in a wrecking ball or just excavate to get the uh, the uh, the uh, some movements going on in that structure now. So there's a good chance it's going to finish. It's going to collapse. Um, more so than not, it's not going to plumb itself back up. So there's a good chance it's going to collapse. So do you the rescue workers for for dead bodies? 
It's too long. They waited so long. You know, anybody down there, you, you've already dehydrated yourself to death unless you found a way to, you land in some uh, water next to you, some stale water. You can keep drinking, pissing, and shitting in your own uh, water that you're going to now drink. Uh, no. Um, and very insensitively so. Uh, it seems like this is an elderly care home, basically. Everybody's in her 80s. So, in almost 90s. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? You know, they're spending a lot of effort late in the game, you know, eight days out, whatever it is, to move a couple of pieces of debris that somebody in their 90s is going to be down there alive that can take all that abuse for nine days or 80, late 80s. Really? You know, this seems kind of a, um, an exercise in futility. So go ahead and use an excavator. The bodies have already been mangled, you know, Use an excavator. I know people don't like my magnet thing about the steel and all. There's steel there. It'll lift. It'll lift up a lot of that. If you if you're trying to recover some some remnants of the person, which I really wouldn't want to see my loved one all mangled. Uh, yeah. So it's time to in the body now. The bodies and I are now just smashed and infested. Look, you know, not quite infested, but because of flies. But ah, time to uh. Time to call it a day, right? Time, time to call it a day. Go ahead and bring in a wrecking ball. Knock that thing down with a wrecking ball. Or an excavator can reach that high. 12 stories. They've got excavators to reach up there and cut that cut that apart and bring it down. Uh, there's a good chance it will collapse towards the ocean, though, while they're doing that. So you got to find the shear planes in there that work. The part that's leaning already, it would be the part you'd work on. Over to the elevator shaft, so that's the part that's leaning already. Get to the top floor and start, reach up there and start nibbling at that, nibbling that apart. We already know how it's going to collapse. It's going to shear all the way down, so when you break the top floor, you'll probably get it to pancake all the way down. That's my theory. Bye.